Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. On today's episode, I'm going to speak about an exercise called Reverse Flies. Reverse Flies directly target the posterior aspect of the deltoid muscle. The posterior head of the deltoid muscle originates on the scapular spine of the scapula. The scapula is the medical name for the shoulder blade and it inserts on the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus. This muscle is often overlooked and this muscle is often weak when compared to the anterior aspect of the deltoid. Many times people suffer injuries or have poor posture because a strength and balance exists. The chest muscles and the anterior shoulder muscles are much stronger than the back muscles and the posterior shoulder muscles. The posterior deltoid is included in this. Often these muscles are weak. So performing reverse flats, which directly targets the posterior aspect of the deltoid will help to prevent injuries and will also to help improve your upper body posture. When performing reverse flies, you want to sit on the end of a bench or on the end of a sturdy structure. Never perform this exercise on a chair which has wheels or on a structure that is not sturdy. You can use a resistance band or you can use dumbbells. You want to hinge forward at the hips as far as you can. You want to reach down. I'm going to use dumbbells on this one. You're going to reach down and grab the dumbbells. You're going to keep the wrist in a neutral position. You're not flexing or extending the wrist. Keep the wrist in a neutral position. The elbows are bent slightly. Keep the neck in line with the spine and you want to retract the scapula. So you pull the scapula towards the spine and then you slowly bring the elbows out to the side and then slowly return to the starting position. You want to exhale on the way up and then inhale on the way down. This is an exercise where technique is vital to get the most benefit from it. You want to move slowly and control the eccentric phase of the exercise, which is the negative phase of the exercise and the positive phase of the exercise. So you're not just throwing the weights up, exhale on the way up, control the motion and then return to the starting position. If you are using an exercise band, you can actually turn this into an isometric exercise where you hold the contraction at the top. The upper arms should be raised so that the arms are perpendicular to the body. Try to keep the shoulders moving so that the arms are at a 90 degree angle from the trunk. Strengthening the posterior aspect of the deltoid along with the posterior rotator cuff muscles and the scapular retractor muscles is extremely important in the prevention and rehabilitation of shoulder injuries and upper back and neck injuries. So always start at your current fitness level. Don't try to do what you did before you were injured. Don't try to do what someone else is doing. Don't try to do what you did when you were younger. Start at your current fitness level. Increase the intensity in small, gradual, calculated increments. Utilize reverse flies to strengthen the posterior head of the deltoid. This is a muscle that is often overlooked and is often weak compared to the anterior head of the deltoid. Do yourself a big favor and strengthen the posterior head of the deltoid using reverse flies. Thanks everybody for viewing today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report, where I covered the reverse fly to help to strengthen the posterior aspect of the deltoid. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance and Minimize Injuries. Please feel free to visit my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you can get additional information on the book and you can visit my blog. My blog contains articles on sports medicine, spine health, health, and fitness. Please feel free to like this video. If you have questions, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section 
below. Please subscribe to my YouTube page, Dr. Donald A. Ozello, DC. If you are watching this video, you're on my YouTube page. Always remember to train hard, train smart, get adequate rest between training sessions, and to utilize nutritional and supplementation strategies that work for you. Stay injury-free and accomplish your goals.